Hey guys, it's Joe. It's been a while since I've updated you on the flag semi, and that's because there hasn't been a ton of work done to it recently. I've been very busy. Um, but today I have a special treat. Our friend Danny is coming over and we are going to pull all of the air suspension today. So I invite you to come along with us. Before we start tearing apart the semi, I wanted to draw your attention to our ongoing GoFundMe campaign to help with the restoration of this iconic truck. We don't have unlimited funds, unfortunately, and restoring the flag semi-tractor is a much larger project than restoring, say, an original Knight Rider Trans Am. Every dollar helps. The link to our GoFundMe campaign is in the description below. You can also support us by purchasing some exclusive merchandise from our store, including our awesome semi-restoration team shirts. Those are available below as well. Finally, become a supporter in our Patreon community, where you can get early access to all videos, along with extra videos and footage that never get posted to our public YouTube channel. We are closing in on triple-digit supporters. Will you be the hundredth to join? All right, so a refresher for those of you who uh, don't remember or maybe even haven't seen any of the videos on the semi. By the way, there's a whole series on the semi. There's a playlist on our channel if you want to take a look at it. So for those of you who aren't in the know, the truck was converted to an air ride suspension many years after Knight Rider. Knight Rider, on Knight Rider, this truck had a spring style suspension. I know we're crazy for going back to a spring suspension, but we want this to be 100% accurate to the way it was on the series. So to that end, today we're going to jack up the frame. We're going to start removing all the hangers, the equalizer, all the airbags, the shocks, everything. By the end of today, we should be able to physically roll these axles out from underneath the frame. At least that's the plan. And really when we're done, this is going to be so much smoother. There's going to be so much cleaner. There's going to be less airlines, right? Cause you don't need the airlines for these airbags and, and all of that gets to go away. These torque arms, um, we already have that torque arm removed. We just have to cut the bracket off this one. We have to take the torque arm off, get this bracket cut. Um, but then, uh, once that's done, we can, get all this moved out of the way and then once this is all out of the way then we can start getting the the frame extension grafted on probably right about there we can drill out all of the original holes this is the original equalizer right here for the spring suspension there's the center three bolts there and three here that can all get drilled out as well as the end hanger down there the holes for the air tanks so the air tanks were moved, right? So whenever they put the air suspension in, there was no more room for the air tanks back here. And we think mainly because of those torque arms. Um, so what they did is they relocated the air tanks here. So once we're done, these air tanks are gonna to to go all the way back to where they were. One tank was on this side in the back, the other was right about there. So that's all gonna get removed and put back the way it was. We're gonna to have to lengthen the drive shaft because these axles need to go back about 18 inches. So the sleeper, the 60 inch sleeper, which starts right here, you can see the mark, will fit. Cause right now it won't fit. It goes to right about here and it's gonna hit these tires. So those need to go back. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started.
you get this side and we're done. Just rolling them out. <clears throat> You want to try and hit it out now that you got space? You have to hit on the end of it, not around it for it to work. <laughs> Because the airbag is sitting on the frame now. Oh, I see. There's nothing to grab onto. Grab onto the suspension. Grab right? onto the suspension. other Trans Ams to go off. Watch yourself. Watching. Right. See, this is a lot heavier. You've got the power divider. Yeah. I see that. We should have just kept the truck hooked up to it and just Back up to it. Oh, let's try. Well, we've finished. 
for the day. The semi is half the truck that it used to be. That's okay. Trying to figure out if my wife's gonna mind having two semi-tractor axles in the yard. You think she'll notice? She probably won't notice. Anyways, all right, so here we go. We've got a pretty much bare frame here. And you can just see how many holes are in this frame. Some of them are in use, some were not. Pretty much all of them are not the original spring suspension holes. But it gives us a much clearer picture. Let's move these so we can see exactly what we need to do. All right, so right here, this is the center of the original center link here. And then there's three bolts here, three right here. Those are all gonna be drilled out. Then we move up here. These are the only two original bolt holes from the spring suspension that are still here. And the reason they're here is because this was covered by a cross member right here. These are the original two holes for one of the air tanks, the small air tank. There's a, there's a um, hanger here and a hanger there. These are the original holes for one side of the hanger. And then if we come all the way over here, these are the original holes for the other hanger. These ones were welded shut. So we're gonna have to drill those out. So again, we got the center link there. This is the frontmost hanger. So these three orange, six orange, three here, three here. Those need drilled out. And then we come back here. And of course, we're missing about 18 inches as we talked about. So we'll show you that here in a second. Looking at this other frame, we've got, there's the center link for this side, three there, three there. There's two holes right here for the, one of the air tanks, the longer one. The other mounting holes would be back here. So once we grab this piece on, we'll have to drill those holes. So those will need drilled out. Then once again, here is the frontmost hanger. Let's see, there's three here, and then these three, which you can barely see, will be the other ones. So lots of work to do. So next steps, we're going to get a magnetic drill press with some annular bits. We're gonna drill out all the welds. We're gonna try to at least. Then we're gonna graft on this back piece. Let me show you something. Let's take a walk over here. These were pieces of a donor frame that were given to us. And if you look right here, maybe you can see, I drew right here and this angle right here. So this is the, this is gonna be the piece that we're gonna cut out of here to graft onto the end. So it starts right there goes to right here, you can see the angle. Then we're gonna do the same with that piece. We're gonna get them sandblasted, and then we're gonna put them on the back of the frame. These are the correct steel rims for the back. So those rims are aluminum rims. Those are not the correct ones that we saw in the show. These ones are the correct ones. And we're gonna get these sandblasted, powder coated the correct gray, tires on, and then they'll eventually go on those axles. There's the fifth wheel hanging out for a while. So here are the two axles. So as you can see, they still have most of the, the air ride suspension on them. Right there, there, shock absorbers, all this stuff. So we gotta unbolt all this, get rid of all that. We're gonna have to lengthen the drive shaft, but that'll be much later once the axles are back in. So we've got, enough work to keep us out of trouble. That's for sure. We got to redo all the airlines. A lot of these are cracked and brittle. We actually had to cut this one because we couldn't get it unscrewed because it was all rusted. Um, we're going to have to take all of these other original airlines, extend them because we're pushing everything back. So I still have to cut off four more of these water tank brackets. And you know, so we've got a long way to go. 
but this was a huge step forward getting the axles out. So now we can proceed with this. All right, guys, I'm beat. Special thanks, very special thanks to our friend Danny and Julie helping us getting all this off. We could not, literally couldn't have done it without their help. So huge thanks to them. And uh, they're also the ones, they brought us the wheels. They've donated tons of parts for this truck from their own collection. The correct missing seat we have now, uh, seat belts, trim pieces, everything, all because of them. So um, huge thank you to Danny and Julie. All right, guys, as always, we appreciate your time. More to come on the semi, hopefully soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And now, while we listen to Joe's selection of Knight Rider music that we received directly from Don Peak himself, we'd like to thank these Patreon supporters. Look at you guys scrolling up the screen to my right. Wait a minute, how can you tell which side is my right since you can't see me because I'm not on camera? Oh well, you know what I mean. We are featuring these fine supporters at our Knight Rider prop restorer level. Thank you very much for your support. And for those of you at the Knight Rider History Hunter level, we're recognizing you right now in the description. Now, if you enjoyed seeing this golden nugget of Knight Rider history being rescued from obscurity, then please consider supporting us on Patreon. Your support would empower us to bring you even more of these historical nuggets. We are the Knight Rider Historians. Till next time, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.